Hey guys, Matt, Sick with Dojo, um, back again with another update. Um, today is on the community tank that I have. Um, I think we've shown this uh, many times, however, uh, finally got uh, some good video with the lights on uh, on this tank. I, I was dying to, to get some footage for a while. Um, some of the recent additions to this tank uh, if you follow the channel and uh, I'm a little excited to, to show them off here. Uh, I think they're looking good. Um, again, let me go through the, uh, the tank size and, and uh, exactly what species are in this tank. Um, this is a 180 gallon uh, tank. It's six foot by two foot by two foot and uh, it provides a adequate size. Um, it's, uh, it's good enough for, you know, I'd say small, medium-sized cichlids to do a, a community like this. Um, there's some species in here that may get a little bit too large, uh, but I think it may work long-term. Um, and uh, as you know, uh, originally I had this tank uh, set up for uh, just all Carpentis, all of those blue taxis uh, that I grew out uh, up to about six to nine inches and then uh, I slowly went away from doing that community um, what kind of sparked that was uh, when I got a hold of a uh, Depi pair and uh, you know I tried to do them in a tank of their own uh, extremely aggressive especially that male on the female and then uh, I was left with uh, plan B which was to add them to the Carpentis community tank, uh, which were, the fish were all very similar size. Um, you know, they're in the Herithis genus, and so uh, I gave that a shot. It did pretty well. Um, however, uh, I didn't want uh, the, the top two Carpentis pairs to be uh, kind of bullied or kicked kicked around by the uh, Depi, which seemed to be much more aggressive of a species, and so I removed them. Uh, and, uh, and so you'll see later in this video that Depi pair, um, uh, but right now obviously we're showing uh, one of the, the last of the sin uh that I have here. Um, if you'll recall, I grew out a group from basically less than an inch. Um, they are sin spellum from Belize. Uh, they came originally from Coda, and uh, I went down to my last one. You know, I was getting close to having a pair uh, with them, but uh, you know, I didn't. Uh, I'm really interested in breeding them too much, but I did want to have at least one uh, to keep around it if I did the community thing, and I did obviously. Um, so I, I kept the biggest one. I believe it's a male, um, so he's doing well in here. Uh, you'll see other species, uh, these Carpentis, I still do have, uh, I believe four in here, one male and, and uh, three females, um, and you can see this male in the back with a female, and they're paired off. Uh, they did have fry, and I, uh, I vac gravel vac them with the, uh, the last water change to remove them and, and hopefully avoid you know, any extra aggression that might occur because uh, you'll see later that the Depi pair basically controls the left corner of the tank um, and I believe they have fry in the pot. So, um, you know, where the rest of the fish are going to hang out is obviously in the middle on the right side and I didn't want some Carpentis pair uh, going after them, but you'll see this uh, Trimac, uh, Rio Nurano Trimac female uh, that I have in here. Um, I have her separated from uh, the male, the keeper male that I've shown. In some of my other video, um, they're just, uh, you know, they spawn continuously. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to risk uh, any damage on that male or this female getting killed um, by that male. So I have them mostly separated for right now. Um, if I do need for, I'll add her back. Uh, maybe do a divider technique for uh, the breeding, uh, but they're, you know, the Trimax doing well. She's uh, very aggressive and dominant in this tank. However, these uh, Cribro Heroes Alfari, also, um, you know, a little surprising to me. 
uh, that they're, they're very uh, capable of holding their own. This big one right here in the middle, I believe it's a male, uh, will go toe to toe a lot of times with that Trimac and, uh, and hold, hold his own, I believe it's a, it's a male. And uh, they're doing much better in this tank than they were in the 120 gallon when I had just six of them along with the Sinspillum. Uh, in that tank, the dominant male was easily able to target the rest of them and go after them. And that male, or that, that one with the uh, missing tail, um, if you follow my channel, that was gone when I received them. Um, but there were some that were, you know, had received uh, additional damage and, and one in particular that I'm healing in a separate tank. Um, now you could see I'm, I'm over on the Depi side and uh, you see them flaring up with that uh, Carpentis pair. Um, they kind of take turns. The male will go over and, uh, you know, make sure the other fish are staying away and then sometimes the female will. Um, there should be fry in this pot right here. And I'm going to, uh, after this, um, you know, observe and check it out. Uh, I don't need to pull any more fry. I do have a one batch from them, which was the first batch of fry uh, that I pulled. Uh, they're doing okay. You know, they're now in a 10 gallon tank. Um, not the most hardy of fish, possibly due to, uh, you know, my water parameters. I have very hard water, high pH. Uh, at a tap and I'm not using any softener or anything uh, to treat that other way other than just obviously uh, removing the chlorine and chloramine so uh, you know they're uh, they're not bulletproof maybe like Carpentis the Carpentis fry for an example um, and uh, but some of them appear to be doing good um, maybe yield about 50% of that batch uh, if I'm lucky and hope to have them available maybe in about two months but uh yeah, there's no, uh, no quitting on the breeding for this species either. Um, they're at it again, uh, and I expect to see some uh, free swimmers here shortly, and hopefully I'll get some of that, uh, that video footage uh, to show them off, um, and uh, I'll post that video up. Um, and you could still see that, uh, that Trimac female, she's very persistent. Uh, she definitely, I think, likes that male Depi, um, but of course this female, uh, you know, he, she's paired off with him and then especially when they have fry, uh, she's the more aggressive one. Um, but uh, when they don't have fry and not in breeding mode, uh, it ends up being about even with that Trimac. So uh, that's when it's pretty fun to watch. Um, they pan back here, I'm trying to think of the other species in this tank. You could see a fire mouth that is uh, you know, a, a lone fire mouth that I rescued a while ago that's kind of stuck around and is doing really well in here. Uh, definitely not getting beat up or anything, holds its own um, and, and does pretty well in this tank. Um, you can see some of the more of the uh, Carpentis females that I have uh, lying around, uh, just hanging out here, um, maybe kind of as backups. Uh, Cause if you recall, I do have two pairs divided in another tank and uh, you know I watch them very closely but with the species uh, you know I have had at least one occasion where you know I, I you know I, I check them out in the morning in the evenings uh, throughout the day sometimes uh, and uh, I just uh, one of the females in the past that I had a breeder uh, was uh, killed off um, and uh, it happened very quickly I couldn't do anything so uh, it's always good to have some extra females around if you can and uh, in this community setting they, they definitely serve a purpose here which is uh, kind of spreading that aggression around uh, to help the community, uh, help that depi pair um, and uh, if I do need a backup female, uh, hopefully not, then I definitely have a few in this tank. So and then of course I have my uh, number one dither fish uh, which are the silver dollars. Uh, these things just, uh, they do really well. Um, I don't think I've ever had one killed off and I've put them with some pretty aggressive species over the years. Uh, you know, as, uh, as big and as aggressive as uh, an umby pair uh, back in the day. And I have some silver dollars and I think with the Feste that are from that time. And so they've been around for quite a while. 
Uh, these are just the standard silver dollars. Um, you know, I, I'm, hopeful, I'm hoping they don't get too big, but you'll see, uh, you know, in some of the festive videos, there are some large ones in there. Um, and, uh, but I, I definitely enjoy them, keep it around. They don't even get beat up, really. Uh, they're just a very uh, peaceful fish um, that really helps uh, a lot of the cichlids come out and be less shy, um, especially with species like feste, which are, in my opinion, very shy in general. And uh, you put a little group of uh, silver dollars in there, it really helps them come out. Um, and in addition, it, it helps uh, take some of the pressure off the female if you have an aggressive male. So uh, I definitely use that technique quite a bit in a lot of my tanks. Um, so anyways, I think that covers uh, about all the species uh, here in the community. Um, I may think about adding uh, in a Solanum male. Um, I am growing out uh, a group of my fry and some of them are getting uh, close to three inches plus. Uh, I might want to see how that turns out, you know, uh, just experiment a little uh, or maybe I'll go with a female in here. Um, so keep an eye on that plus the video of those grow outs. I'll definitely be doing that within the month uh, going forward. So excited about that and uh, I think uh, they're all doing well in here. So. Anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, and uh, until next time, bye now.